Hi, this is Nathan with Taylor Services. Today we're going to be doing a routine spring maintenance on an AC unit. Mostly just coming, cleaning everything, getting rid of any mildew or anything that's built up inside. Making sure it's running good right before summer hits so you're not wasting any energy once summer gets here. First, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the outside unit. I already have it running and cool. So we're going to jump out there, take some readings, make sure the refrigerant pressure is good, amp draws, outside motors, all of that, everything's working good. I checked the refrigerant readings, amp draws, and did a run test on the capacitor. Everything currently looks like it's working about the way it should inside. We'll jump inside and take a temperature split of the inside and outside you know, incoming and outgoing air temperature reading to make sure that as a whole it's cooling the way it's supposed to. Alrighty, so the outgoing air up there was 49 degrees. Inside it's 70. So it's 21 degree split, totally within normal range. Everything so far looks like it's working good. Now that we've run tested everything, with it off, I'm gonna go ahead and do a test on the capacitor, make sure all my fittings are connections, electrical connections are tight, and everything looks pretty decent. are the port caps where you hook up your gauges to test. They go over the top so any small amounts of leakage from that stems, these prevent from coming out. Inside there's supposed to be little rubber seals. In this case one of them's crushed, could not allow stuff to leak out. A lot of times when you have a leak that nobody can find, they say, oh it's missing. Hook up, put pressure, nothing seems to find anything. It's coming from these caps. So just as part of the maintenance I'm going to go ahead and replace these. electrical testing on the inside unit here. So first I'm going to open up the panels, take an amp draw on the motor, make sure that it's not working any harder than it should be. Then I'm going to take an amp draw and make sure that the heat strips, the backup electric heat, isn't running with the air. The last mechanical test that I have to do here, I'm going to unhook the wires from this capacitor, physically test it, make sure that it's getting the proper start capacitance that it needs. Now that we've done with the electronic testing things, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with the cleaning and visual inspection of everything. We're going to start with the outside unit, go ahead and wash that coil, look inside, make sure there's no wires rubbing or anything like that. Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and clean the coil on the outside unit. We pull the top because you want to wash it from the inside out, so anything that's gotten sort of packed up against that coil, you're pushing out rather than pulling in. This unit, I'm not going to use an acid wash on it because it's been maintained regularly, so it doesn't have any heavy buildup that requires that acid wash. Acid wash over time can decay the fins a little bit. Uh, I'm going to just spray a light cleaner on everything just to make it come clean, look nice. While I'm in there, I'm going to look to see if there's any signs of wires chafing or rubbing out on the copper to kind of get those pulled away so you don't get any shorts in the future. Now that I've gone ahead and washed the coil out, I've got my shop back out. I'm going to vacuum up any sediment that's kind of collected in the bottom. Over time, any of that sediment that's up against anything can cause corrosion. Alright, you can see here, once I'm in here, I can see these orange wires here 
are starting to chafe and rub up against this copper. Over time, that's going to create a short, it's going to blow your fuse. Um, customer this summer would probably be calling saying, ah, my thermostat went blank, no cold air. Um, so, doing this saves one call out. I'm going to go ahead and tie these up here. Move them out of the way. Move this tubing out of the way a little bit there. Now it's not going to rub out, not going to have any problems. Okay, so that's all kind of washed down now. All that's left to put everything back together, give it a final wipe down out here, then we'll move to inside. Next, and probably the most important part, at least in our Florida climate for the preventive maintenance, is I'm going to go ahead and clean the drain pan and line. So I'll take these panels off, clean it how I like to do it, it's really the best way that i found. Hook up a shop back outside. Once that pulls the water through, I put a little bit of an acid mixture in there to break up any of the algae or whatever that's kind of built up in that tubing, clear it out, then flush that through with a couple gallons of water so we're not leaving any acid in your system. So this here is your coil. When it's running and cool, the condensation is gonna drop down this, run down into this pan here that collects it and runs it away. Inside of this pan, builds up, you can kind of see there, lots of mildew, nasty stuff builds up, it just stays wet all the time. So now that I have the shop back running outside, I'm gonna run an acid through here so that it runs through the pan and out of the drain line. Then I'm gonna kind of go ahead and break it up somewhat so it's ready to go, flush it through with some water, and we should be gold. Alrighty, we've left the acid in there for a couple minutes to let it break anything up. Now I'll pull out what I can by hand, so you're limiting the amount of stuff you're flushing into the unit. As you can see now, drain pan's a lot cleaner, flush the line through, everything looks good there. They shouldn't have any drainage problems this summer. Now that we've cleaned the drain line, tested everything, cleaned the outside unit, really all that's left is to clean and disinfect the inside unit. I have mixed a little bit of an antimicrobial treatment. I'm going to spray every surface in here, wipe down any obvious signs of anything, and uh, then pretty much we should be good. The only thing on this unit we haven't done that may be done normally, some companies included in a normal maintenance, some companies don't, but that at times can prove necessary just as part of preventative maintenance, is the blower wheel. It's the inside portion that moves air. As you can see right here, on this gentleman's, it's, uh, it's relatively clean. There's not really anything there that needs washed. But if you can see how these blades have kind of a scoop to them, over time, dust can build up in that scoop and uh, no longer catches air, it just kind of beats the air around. You can get significant airflow loss, significant loss in ability to cool your house. The inside of the unit's been wiped down, sterilized, that treatment's on there. Go ahead and close up all the panels, put it back together, clean the outside, and do the last and most important step, which is turn everything back on, make sure I haven't knocked anything loose. Alrighty, so that's pretty much how you do a normal routine maintenance. Um, everything on this checked out good. If you have any questions or anything you want to know, give us a call at 352-243-7088 or look us up online at kalosflorida.com.